Hi, I'm Dr. Chuck Betters. And over the close to 50 years now of ministry, one problem that people have that has broken my heart more than any other is the problem of abuse. Uh, in fact, I would go as far as to say the church as a whole does not know how to handle a woman who is being either physically or emotionally abused. There's so much more work we have to do on this subject, so much more that we men have to learn when it comes to physical and emotional abuse of one's spouse. Listen to this question, it's heartbreaking. People quickly recognize the pain and sin of physical abuse, but what about emotional abuse? I know that everyone is sinful and the tongue can be a weapon, but how far is too far? My husband doesn't curse me out, so to speak, but yet his words hurt. They break my heart. He is controlling and manipulative, but yet when I try to talk about anything, he just insists it's all my fault and that I am the problem. I've heard you tell people they need to search themselves and look in the mirror, and I'm really trying to do that because I know that I am bringing my own sin behaviors into the relationship, but I am desperate to put Christ in the center of my marriage, and I don't know how to do that when my partner is focused on tearing me down in order to deem himself blameless. This is a persistent problem in the church. It's a persistent problem outside the church. When we marry someone, we bring our own sins into the marriage. Two sinners coming under the same roof, learning how to deal with each other's sins. Now, when it comes to physical abuse, there is absolutely no excuse whatsoever for a man to hit his wife or vice versa. Much more rare for a woman to be the abuser, but nonetheless, men and women both can physically abuse. There's no reason to stay in a relationship where there is physical abuse. In fact, I have very little tolerance uh, and somewhat affects my even my sympathy or empathy with a woman who is willing to take a beating every day of her life, allow her children to be abused without taking any steps or action to overcome that. It is not right for a man to hit a woman. But there's, a, there's another way to hit somebody. We hit them with our tongue. That words hurt, words can devastate. Words can cause tremendous pain in people. And over the years I have watched as men have thrown their wives under the bus in order to make themselves feel better about themselves or not to address the sins in their own life, but to blame her or to blame him, depending on who the abuser is. We have a lot of work to do on this in the church. Men who are leaders in the church oftentimes will uh, question the veracity of a claim of a woman that she is being emotionally abused. And the reason for that is it's much harder to prove. We're not there. We can't hear what's going on in the home. We can't hear those words. But nonetheless, there is a, a real serious problem that people le need to learn how to address that emotional abuse can be just as violent, just as painful, break just as many hearts as physical abuse does. And so I, I do believe there is a conversation that needs to be held. I would encourage you uh, to seek help, to talk to someone, someone more mature than you are spiritually. Uh, talk to a pastor or a church leader, but I caution, even if you do that, you may not get a proper audience. Sometimes pastors don't want to listen uh, to the claim of emotional abuse because it is so hard to prove. If you have a bloody nose or a black eye, that's easy to prove. But if you have a broken heart, that's much more difficult. But nonetheless, you need to seek help. You need to find help from people who are qualified to identify uh, the matter of emotional abuse. Now we're gonna have, at Mark Inc. Ministries, we're gonna have um, more opportunities to address this and develop resources. So I, wanna, I want you to stay tuned in the future. I hope that we will be able to address the matter of emotional abuse and what to do about it as a Christian 
what to do about it when you are being directly impacted by it. Suffice it to say for now that emotional abuse is painful and that you need to seek help. You need to seek counsel. You need to verify as best you can what you mean when you talk about emotional abuse, name calling. Uh, like you say in your, in your question here, tearing somebody else down for the purpose of building yourself up. Uh, men need to be confronted with the fact that this is just as violent, oftentimes even more violent, to verbally and emotionally abuse your spouse as it would be if you punched her in the face or gave her a bloody nose. Either one is unacceptable to those of us who know the Lord. So I want to encourage you to stay tuned. We will be developing more guidelines on this in the future. And I hope that, uh, at least for now, this is helpful. Seek help. Seek counsel. Talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about when it comes to the matter of emotional abuse. I hope this helps.